Hill Public Library, and I'm here today to read a great story for the Jumpstar Read for the Record. What is Read for the Record? Well, Jumpstar started this program many years ago. It's sharing high quality picture books with young children is at the core of Jumpstart's mission. And each year, Jumpstart selects a campaign book that fosters, maybe you can see this, oops, there it is, <laughs> that fosters language and social emotional development, honors the diversity in our world, has a strong narrative and appeals to young children. That book is read across the country and around the world by adults and young readers on Read for the Record Day. Jumpstarts read for the record. This book this year for 2021 is Amy Wu and the Patchwork Dragon. By Kat Zhang, illustrated by Charlene Chua. During story time, Miss, M Miss Mary reads Amy's class a book about dragons. Dragons that hoard treasure, dragons that blow fire, dragons that fight knights in gleaming armor. Afterward, she tells everyone to make their own dragons. Make them special, she says. Make them yours. Sam draws a dragon with enormous teeth. He crafts the wings from postage stamps. Willa sculpts a dragon with a big fat belly. She strings daisies for the tail. Amy paints a dragon with a long thin body. It has horns like a stag and claws like an eagle. You can see them there on the picture. Are you sure that's a dragon? Asks Sam. Doesn't look like a dragon, adds Willa. Hmm, Amy thinks. Maybe they're right. Amy scribbles with her pencils and doodles with her crayons. She glues beads to the paper and some to her hair. Bits of dragon emerge. Dragons with shiny green scales, dragons with leathery wings. They look great. They look just like the dragons in Miss Mary's book, but none of them work. None of them feel quite right. These dragons are not the dragons Amy wanted to make. Time to clean up, says Miss Mary. I'm not done, cries Amy. The rest of the class put their dragons on the show and tell table, but there's nothing from Amy, nothing at all. Willa and Sam come over after school, but Amy can't even smile. Oh dear, says Amy's grandma. Why the sad face? So Amy tells her. Her grandma gets a twinkle in her eye. Come, she says, let me tell you a story. She tells them about dragons that bring down the rain. Dragons that are wise and just. Dragons that fly without wings. Amy runs to the attic. She remembers where she got the idea for her dragon. She pulls out something red and yellow, something with a big fat snout and golden horns. A dragon, gasps Sam and Willa. A dragon, agrees Amy. Amy's grandma puts on the costume's head and Amy puts on the tail. Together, 
they dance down the attic steps and roar through the house. Maybe you can bring it to school, says Sam. Please, please bring it to school, begs Willa. Hmm, says Amy. She thinks about the dragons in Miss Mary's book. She thinks about the dragons in Grandma's story. Bringing this dragon to class would be great, but there's something missing. Something to make the dragon Amy's. After Sam and Willa go home, Amy begins to plan. She shows sketches to her family. Will you help me? She asks. They measure out fabric and cut it into shape. They carve a cardboard frame and fasten the cloth. Amy knots together three silk scarves. Then she adds some beads and some glitter and a little more glitter, just because. Ready? asks Grandma. Amy takes a deep breath. Ready, she says. Amy comes to school with a big paper bag. The other children gather around. Oh, is it your dragon? asks Willa. Show us, cries Sam. Amy puts on the dragon's head. She invites Willa and Sam beneath the dragon tail. Together, they dance through the classroom and roar between the desks. Everybody cheers. Miss Mary laughs so hard, she can't even breathe. Amy's dragon is red and yellow. It has a big fat snout and golden horns. It has enormous green wings and a tail of three silk scarves and beads and glitter, lots of glitter. It works splendidly. It feels just right. It is exactly the dragon Amy wanted to make. The end. And that was this year's Jumpstart Read for the Record book. There are lots of activities that you can do with this story at the Jumpstart Read for the Record. If you look that up, you will find all kinds of activity sheets. There's a song I was playing early on in the beginning of this recording. And um, there's a lot of good information about the Jumpstart mission and values. Thank you so much for listening today. I hope you enjoyed the story. Today, October 28th, 2021, Jumpstart Read for the Record Day. There are thousands of people reading the same story across the country today. So thank you for listening. Let's all read for the record.